this world is controlled by the worst type of people, I was told by somebody very famous when I was much younger. Now, after 51 years of being irradiated, sprayed upon, and preached to from the corporate merry-go-round, I'm not naive as to how the system operates, who profits from it, and where it is all likely to end, as they always have done for the last 6,000 years or more. Politicians retreat to their temporary towers with equally temporary fortunes worldwide. Good grief! It is clear that the elimination of the middle class is fast underway, both in America and in Europe, as the post-industrial age draws to its conclusion. These days, the laws of the jungle have been stewed up by urban conditions that have never been fixed, and never will be fixed, even though it seems it could so easily all be fixed. The part of history we know shows that it is to certain people's advantage that it should remain unfixed. The best available housing estates turn into nightmares when they fill them solely with people that they want to get rid of. Now the Americans want to chip us in our clothes and in our shoes so they can see us from a satellite or something. And His Excellency President Sarkozy, here in France, wants a DNA test certain people. Sarko in Greek means flesh. There is an element in my unconscious which seems to enjoy word games, I'm sure, but I don't want to wake up in a sarcophagus. The world is stranger than you think, and even than you want to think.